కృపావార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము జీవము లైఫ్ మనుష్యుడు రొట్టె వలన మాత్రమే కాదు కానీ దేవుని నోటి నుండి వచ్చు ప్రతి మాట వలన జీవించును మతేశ్ వార్త నాలుగవ అధ్యాయము నాలుగవ వచనము మ్యాన్ షల్ నాట్ లివ్ బై బ్రెడ్ ఎలోన్ బట్ బై ఎవ్రీ వర్డ్ దట్ ప్రొసీడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మౌత్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ మ్యాచ్యూ chapter 4 verse 4 life what is life where is life what is the source of life these are the vital questions great surgeons are pondering on great medical scientists researchers are asking these questions what is the source of life what is life where is life is death the end of life can man overcome death can man live forever without seeing death can man remain ever youthful without saying old age these are the vital questions scientists especially in the field of medicine are asking why at all man has to grow old man can remain forever in youth can we not make man be always young <clears throat> why at all man has to see death can man not live forever without seeing death these are the prominent questions vital questions scientists especially in the field of medicine are probing salvation made simple now we do have answers to all these questions he that has ears let him hear very few have ears to listen ears to hear so all men are alike are of the are the descendants of adam are of, are of the pattern of adam because from one man all men are formed all men have originated from the first adam isn't it so all men whether we are indians whether we whether we are chinese whether we are africans whether we are americans irrespective of the boundaries we have set for ourselves all men are alike isn't it all men have same facial features means same parts that make the face that makes the body does any man have an additional part of course some men are deprived of certain parts certain organs very few rarest of the rare in general all men are of the same pattern can anyone deny can anybody has three ears can anybody has four eyes can anybody has all through the body eyes if there were to be any 
of such persons he will be an odd man out isn't it in heaven if we read the book of revelation we see surprising things marvelous things we see living creatures with eyes all through the body how strange it is such life of higher intellect higher intelligence much much higher plane of intelligence is existing in heaven can we imagine with two eyes we are not able to manage things isn't it much stress on brain because of the functioning of two eyes imagine if man were to have two more additional eyes on back side of the head in heaven it is so in heaven there are peculiar living creatures with eyes all through the body in one of the books of reverend dr e m bounds edward mckenry bounds e m bounds writes of such higher level of intelligent beings in heaven much knowledge of heaven and of god can be attained by reading the works of the teacher of the bible reverend dr edward mckenry bounds the characteristic feature of em bounds is that em bounds is primarily a man of prayer prayer was his priority like the early apostles like the early church edward mckenry bounds is known for his fervent effectual consistent steadfast prayers sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday january february march april may june july august september october november december summer winter spring whatever may be the season whatever may be the day whatever may be the month edward mckenry bounds practiced waking up at 4 o'clock for prayer as soon as the clock rings 4 a.m edward mckenry bounds is on his knees such prayerful life such fellowship with the god such intimacy with god such audience with god granted great revelations that are unique to edward mckenry bounds that is why em bounds could write so many books on one single subject called prayer apart from prayer edward mckenry bounds has also written on satan his personality power and overthrow and on heaven heaven a place a city a home such wonderful works the pity is in spite of the prayerful life of edward mckenry bounds in spite of em bounds being faithful to god faithful in his services to the church much of the life of em bounds was spent in poetry em bounds has no luxury to publish his own works publish the books by paying to the press so almost all of his works have not seen the light of publication so long as he was living world may look at the christian preachers pastors missionaries with ill will with wrong understanding oh church pastors they have much funding whole of the america is behind them whole of the europe is behind them they are flooded with so much of funding nobody denies that nobody is denying the acquisitions but 
that acquisitions may not be applicable to people like Edward McHenry Bounds. There will be one in a billion, isn't it? Who stands for righteousness? Who goes forth hunger and thirst for the sake of righteousness? Edward McHenry Bounds is indeed one in a billion. So, what is common, what is general could not be extrapolated to all, to all saints of God, to all preachers, to all missionaries. One Edward McHenry Bounds is unique man of prayer. One John Bunyan is a unique evangelist. In spite of the very fact that John Bunyan is denied the opportunity of preaching and was imprisoned for his preaching activities. In spite of being imprisoned, this great saint of the Lord belonging to probably 17th century is writing from prison such a wonderful book. What a saint John Bunyan is. If any of us were to be put in prison for the sake of gospel, if any one of us were to be ill-treated, humiliated, if we were to be lacking of basic amenities, we will be very much annoyed, we will be very much frustrated, isn't it? It's obvious this is human nature. But there are people that are one in a billion, solely transformed into the pattern, into the image of Jesus Christ. In spite of the very fact that John Bunyan was imprisoned, was denied of even basic necessities, basic amenities, under very, very harsh conditions in prison, Edward uh, John Bunyan was in agony, in pain, in sorrow. In such pain, in such grief, in such isolation, in such poverty, in such hunger, in such thirst, in such injustice, going through such oppression, going through such unhygienic environment. Can anyone imagine John Bunyan compiling a book? Indeed, it's an extreme possible, isn't it? The preacher was so much privileged, blessed by the grace of Jesus Christ that he was granted special grace of perseverance even in times of poverty, even in times of hunger, even in times of joblessness, even in times of uncertainties, even in times of humiliation, even in times of being ill-treated. The preacher was given special grace when he looked unto Jesus Christ and his sufferings on the cross. To go ahead, to march forward in the responsibilities that has been entrusted to him. All through the year 2018 has been very tough like any of the previous, like most of the previous years in the life of the preacher. The preacher was so much blessed that in spite of the very fact that he was going through joblessness and he was going through poverty, hunger, lack of money, injustice, ill-treatment, humiliation, false acquisitions, denial of job opportunities, everything uh, was against time and tide. Everything was unfavorable in the life of the preacher. It's not new to the preacher. In such harsh conditions, unfavorable conditions, his Savior Jesus Christ granted grace to the preacher that he could indeed successfully compile a book on his research work, namely 
can biofuels alleviate energy and environmental crisis in such difficult times the preacher has never ever imagined that he will be able to accomplish the completion of the book and submission of the book for publication to nova publishers nova science publishers and that the book will be published and released by july the next year 2019 how can this be explained but for the divine intervention but for the divine grace but for the divine empowerment this is one of the examples how god works in the life of his people of course the tribulations that the preacher has gone are far less compared to the tribulations of the saints of ester year whether it is em bounds or whether it is uh, saint paul or whether it is uh, john bunyan even in imprisonment even when being treated unjustly john bunyan continued to be faithful to god continue to prove his allegiance to god how many of us can do that if we were to go through hunger if we were to go through thirst if we were to go through joblessness if we were to go through imprisonment do we still hold to our faith in jesus christ it's rarest of the rare isn't it jesus christ has never promised bed of roses jesus christ has never promised luxuries உலகத்தில் உங்களுக்கு உபதிரவம் உண்டு ஆனாலும் தேடும் கொண்ணுங்கள் நான் உலகத்தின் ஜெயித்தேன் இன் த வேர்ல்ட் யூ வில் ஹாவ் ட்ரிபுலேஷன் எட் பி ஆஃப் குட் ஷேர் டு நாட் லூஸ் ஹார்ட் ஐ ஹவ் ஓவர் கம் த வேர்ல்ட் ஈச் ஒன் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஹேஸ் டு கோ த்ரூ ட்ரிபுலேஷன் ஈச் ஒன் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஹேஸ் டு கோ த்ரூ சஃபரிங் ஈச் ஒன் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஹேஸ் டு கோ த்ரூ லாஸ் இல் ஹெல்த் ஃபேஸ் டெத் நோ எக்ஸெப்ஷன் பிகாஸ் the world has already been taken over by satan the power that was given to the first adam was transferred by adam to the enemy the satan so the control the power has been gone to the hands of satan that is why we see false acquisitions we see lying everywhere we see agony we see joblessness we see poverty we see hunger we see enmity we see jealousy we see hatred all these are not from god to make things better to make things good god has to come to this world in the form of jesus christ and offer himself as a ransom for the forgiveness of sins of mankind and for granting a new heart to man new heart like jesus christ new heart like god godly attitude godly attributes godly nature so that man can be reconciled to god through the death of jesus christ on the cross human race man is reconciled to god likewise through the resurrection of jesus christ on the third day from the grave from the burial from death what happened salvation is given to man forgiveness of sins followed by salvation crucifixion of christ on the cross followed by resurrection these two are very vital for both the forgiveness of sins of mankind not only forgiveness of sins of mankind as a result of the truth that the sins of man are forgiven by the crucifixion of christ in the lives of those that believe this truth they will be also the first uh, they will be also the partakers of resurrection as the first fruit jesus christ was risen from the dead likewise all those that believe in jesus christ for their forgiveness of sins will rise again from the dead this is the answer for all the questions medical scientists are posing the answer is jesus christ can we overcome death yes by believing in jesus christ we can overcome death hum honge kamyaab honge kamyaab ek din man mein hai vishwas pura hai vishwas hum honge kamyaab ek din jeevamo life 
మనుష్యుడు రొట్టె వలన కాదు కానీ దేవుని నోటి నుండి వచ్చే ప్రతి మాట వలన జీవించను మతే స్వార్త నాలుగవ అధ్యాయము నాలుగవ వచ్చిన మ్యాన్ షెల్ నాట్ లివ్ బై బ్రెడ్ ఎ లోన్ బట్ బై ఎవ్రీ వర్డ్ దట్ ప్రొసీడ్ అట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మౌత్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ సో టు ఆన్సర్ ద క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఈస్ లైఫ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ కెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఎటర్నల్ లైఫ్ కెన్ వీ లివ్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ కెన్ వీ బీ వితౌట్ టీయర్స్ కెన్ వీ బీ వితౌట్ సిక్నెస్ కెన్ వీ బీ వితౌట్ ఎగోని వితౌట్ గ్రీఫ్ ఎస్ వీ క్యాన్ హౌ ఇఫ్ వీ బిలీవ్ దట్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఈజ్ ద లైఫ్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఈజ్ ద సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఈజ్ ద ఒరిజినేటర్ ఆఫ్ ద లైఫ్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఈజ్ ద సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎటర్నల్ లైఫ్ ఇఫ్ వీ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ దిస్ గుడ్ న్యూస్ ఇఫ్ వీ బిలీవ్ నాట్ వీ ద ప్రీచర్ హ్యాస్ ఆల్రెడీ బిలీవ్డ్ ఇఫ్ ద ఆడియన్స్ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ట్రూత్ దట్ Jesus Christ is the life Jesus Christ is the source of life Jesus Christ is the source of eternal life by being by believing in Jesus Christ our youth will be renewed like that of the youth of the eagle what is happening is we can the the audience can overcome that the preacher has all already overcome that the preacher has assurance why what is the guarantee what is the assurance the spirit the holy spirit that is in you is testifying that is in the preacher is giving assurance that his sins are forgiven and he will be dwelling in the mansions bright on high with his lord the holy spirit himself is testifying encouraging confirming do you have such assurance have you received the gift of holy spirit is god dwelling in you through his holy spirit we are in the days of holy spirit isn't it the old testament all the old testament times we are living in the times of the father predominantly we see the lord the new testament we see the god the father sending forth his son to the planet earth to reconcile all men that have gone astray to the father himself after the crucifixion resurrection and ascending of jesus christ resurrected christ into heaven we see holy spirit descending from heaven and holy spirit dwelling in his saints empowering him without such holy spirit working in men how could the apostles early apostles accomplish such great tasks falsely imprisoned whether it is peter whether it is paul or many apostles even in the face of opposition even in the face of false accusations even when they were falsely imprisoned these saints are not taking revenge are not angry on anyone are not cursing anyone to such pattern to such image to such likeness of christ each one of us should be transformed can any of us bear if we are imprisoned falsely without any wrong on us but peter when was when he was imprisoned he was silent paul when he was imprisoned he was silent in silence they are bearing the injustice in silence they are bearing, bearing the humiliation even persecution even death you have not yet fought with sin to the point of shedding blood but the saints of the world the apostles or for that matter john baptist there is none that woman has begotten he is as great as john the baptist yet to such a great man what did the world give shedding of blood you have not fought with sin to the point of shedding blood isn't it we have not yet fought with sin to that extent because we are so weak that we take the side of sin we prefer sinning rather than enduring hunger we prefer sinning rather than enduring thirst we prefer sinning rather than shedding our our blood we prefer sinning rather than being persecuted isn't it why we think that death is the end of life it's not so death is not the end of life as the many medical scientists are asking the question is death 
the end of life no death is not the end of life death is only the separation of our soul from the body and the soul is the lamp of god lamp that god has put and the soul has no death the dust will return to dust and the soul will live forever and the soul should have a dwelling isn't it and the soul once this uh, the clay mantle this clay pot hosting the soul when it is destroyed when it is broken when it is eaten up by worms death so dust will return to dust and the soul will remain forever where does the soul remain does the soul not require a place of dwelling isn't it the soul requires a place of dwelling such dwellings are prepared on high in heaven by our lord jesus christ i am going to prepare a place for your dwelling where does the soul dwell should it require a dwelling place or not it requires should we not register for our apartment should we not register for our home isn't it for instance the preacher was blessed with a post doctoral opportunity in israel in the year 2010 from chennai he has to travel to israel while traveling should he not be in continuous touch with the host that has provided him the post doctoral opportunity should be should he be not in continuous communication continuous contact in good terms with the generous supervisor research supervisor that has granted him the post doctoral research fellowship should we not have such communication with our god of heaven jesus christ such communication is missing most of the inhabitants of the earth have lost the communication to the god of heaven to the creator that has made heaven and earth so how will you land in heaven the preacher has got post doctoral research fellowship in israel in 2010 and the post doctoral supervisor generously granted the opportunity to work in his laboratory and to be in israel promising that he will be receiving an annual uh, fellowship of 90000 new israeli shekels this is the promise once rece- after receiving the promise after being generously granted an opportunity to dwell in a place where the supervisor dwells should he not be in continuous communication with him knowing of what israel is knowing of the place where he is going to dwell what is the conditions there what are the conditions there the supervisor writes clearly you should be in contact with so and so person and to learn the life in israel how things will be here how the life will be in israel by the way could you contact any of your indian friends here for apartment for staying how much concerned the research supervisor is jesus christ as well is very much concerned of all the inhabitants of the earth as the preacher has left from chennai to israel temporarily for a temporary assignment initially the post doctoral assignment was for 2 years for 2 years of stay the preacher has to be very very cautious plan for the visa plan for the flight ticket and make sure that he has sufficient money sufficient reserves until he lands in israel all these are necessary isn't it how much careful we should be knowing fully well that earth is only our temporary residence we are only just sojourners we are only just pilgrims on this planet earth we are we have come here to prove our allegiance to our god we have come here to prove prove our loyalty to god this fact this truth that all human beings are in exile 
on planet earth should not be for, forgotten we are in exile this is not our home this is not our place our home is our permanent residence is heaven we belong to heaven all human beings whether they are christians whether they are hindus whether they are jains whether they are buddhists whether they are muslims these demarcations these separations these boundaries are created by us we have put for ourselves these demarcations is adam christian is adam buddhist is adam muslim who has created adam yahweh who is the source of life who has given life to dust let us create man in our image in our pattern in our likeness man is created in the likeness of god see from adam till today all men how men have been replicated how men have been reproduced what a wonder trillions of cells isn't it trillions of cells in each man in each human being such cells trillions of cells make up our, our, our tissues tissues make up our organs each cell is performing vital functions the preachers is so marvel to see the new power new energy through prayer power through prayer is another wonderful book by edward mckenry bounds if he himself were to not receive power for a, a, any electronic gadget whether it is a mobile phone or cell phone or laptop or ipad or any other gadget any other electronic equipment should it be the battery needs recharging or not consistently battery research has received a nice recent nobel prize for chemistry isn't it very recently after batteries another the nobel prize has been given to the field of catalysis battery is such a vital energy system isn't it do we have such batteries in our body why not cell cell phones lithium cells how the term cell has been originated basically from the cell that is present in our body the tissues each of the tissues of our organs are made up of cells each human being has trillions of cells isn't it what a wonder what a marvel that's what the preacher is trying to hammer upon the audience head hammering upon the audience head means it's not literal violence to drive the point home to make the audience understand it is not the intention of the preacher to inflict upon violence on anyone inflicting upon violence is the work of devil not the work of the preachers do don't we see so much violence all around don't we see so much injustice all around oh he is a militant oh he is an axolot oh he is a terrorist so oh, we have shooted up by the way how the terrorists are made how the militants are made they are denied of basic fundamental opportunities no job opportunities no livelihood no source of earning bread what are the youth expected to do they will fall in the trap of uh, very bad people evil people that are bent on destroying the nation whether it is uh, smuggling whether it is uh, drugs whether it is uh, addictions to bad habits alcohol pornography many many dark net and many other cryptocurrencies mishandling of currency and uh, proliferation of nuclear materials why our youth are turning to such uh, bad things nobody loves them nobody cares for them nobody takes care of them nobody shows them a good opportunity idle man's brain is devil's workshop is it not the responsibility of the system is it not the responsibility of the government to care for the people especially the so called pseudo democratic nations that boast that we are the world largest democracy a form of government of the people for the people and by the people where is the government of the people for the people by the people the preacher has to run from pole to post 
ऑल थ्रू द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एटीन टू सत्य साई इंस्टीट्यूट एन सी एल पुणे वी आई टी दिस इंस्टीट्यूट दट इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर पोजिशन सर नॉट फॉर द पोजिशन ऑफ अ very very sad very very sad if they do this in a green tree what will they do when they are in the dry tree does the politicians have no resources var kadpe var kailasam paatalame varantam nasrame varantam so much ill gotten wealth politicians are going to hospitals and never ever returning home why very very bad people does vit has no funds to afford to give to a, a person in need who is well qualified 50000 rupees a month they will not give very very bad people srm university vit university satyabhama university jpr institute so many institutes so many institutes Jesus calls and this calls that calls. Many deemed universities are in their position. Much is given to you, much is expected of you. What did you do the with the talents that I have given? You are accountable to God. Fear God. If you do not fear God and if you do not do justice, if you do not share what you have generously with the people in need. hell is your end hell is a real place likewise heaven nobody has ever revealed nobody knows the hidden things the mysterious things the secret things the one that has come from heaven jesus christ has revealed to mankind all the secret things all the hidden things all the mysterious things now that i have revealed you all that i have heard from my father i will no longer call you as servants i will call you as my friends jesus christ has come to this world to make man know all the things that are permanent that are everlasting that are real how to gain life how to gain eternal life we do not have the high priest who is not able to sympathize with our weaknesses but jesus christ was tempted in all things just as we are being tempted and yet he did not sin can jesus christ not accumulate wealth ill gotten wealth like mlas mps bureaucrats chief ministers prime ministers ill gotten wealth billionaires billionaires industrialists what are you going to do with the money demonetization so much loss of life who will standing in the queues will any billionaire stand in the queue will any mla will any mp will any chief minister stand in the queue to collect 200 rupees 500 rupees 100 rupees from atm disaster this is the sad state of affairs prevailing in the nation why so many phds are begging for bread why the so many youth are not uh, having employment opportunities if a city of uh, dimensions like chennai were to have 20 universities in the democratic nation china will have two orders of magnitude at least two orders of magnitude higher number of academic institutes research institutes the moment a, a research scholar completes his phd and receives phd degree he will be employed he will be placed provided with employment a shameless uh, pseudo policy maker says we cannot uh, afford to give faculty position to all the qualified people sir why so many post docs are hanging abroad what measures you are going to take what should be the response we have all the list of the post doctoral researchers that are abroad desiring the job opportunity we have taken so and so measures and these are the facilities they should avail these are the resources they should avail this is the way they should go 
such communication is missing such generous kind attitude of a caring for the needy is missing we have established so many institutes only one institute i am the sole authority it is under my monopoly this center is after my name this center is synonymous with me that's all no other center very very selfish people many glorious institutes and academic institutes of the past are in a rotten state with a pseudo faculty fit for nothing faculty this is the sad state of affairs prevailing in the world largest democracy should we not learn from the nations that are performing exceptionally well that are concerned kind towards the citizens the preacher was astonished to see the difference between the world largest democracy in china heaven and earth that is the difference even though china has uh, many many industries chemical industries the pollution is nowhere seen why measures have already been taken everywhere trees are grown enormous in enormous number trees are planted extensively every street is well furnished with sufficient space for gardens for parks for children and old people to refresh to relax where is such planning who cares who cares for the children who cares for the old who cares for the comfort of the citizens i am mla my son should be getting seat in a medical college he should become a doctor i should spend so many lakhs for buying the medical seat selfishness selfish attitude the leaders should be selfless like jesus christ i have not come to this world to be served but to serve and to offer myself as a ransom for the redemption of many every politician in india should learn from jesus christ to how to serve the people just five loaves of bread and two fish what a wonderful miracle this is what is called man shall not live by bread but by every word that proceedeth from the lord when the two fish and five loaves of bread were put in the hands of jesus christ there was a miracle why jesus is not selfish jesus never sought his own comfort when jesus christ himself was going through hunger can he not make food can he not create food jesus christ is such selfless sacrificial immanuel god nobody has ever seen god to reveal the invisible god jesus christ has come to this world 2000 years ago a new form of life not from within the planet earth but from outside the planet earth has come into existence in a place called palestine and all those that received this new form of life will do things beyond their natural strength and this new form of life is far superior to any of the known biological forms of life existing are known to mankind and this new form of life is christ life what a wonder ever since the preacher is baptized in the name of jesus christ after confessing his sins and partaking in the holy communion in the blood and body of jesus christ the holy communion practice instituted by jesus christ the preacher has never fallen sick and the preacher is accomplishing things beyond his abilities beyond his strength beyond his knowledge how can this be explained how can this be explained but for uh, 
the christ life existing in the preacher this is the new form of uh, life superior to any of the biological forms known to humankind that is referred by professor c s lewis in the book uh, mere christianity that is what paul is telling i can do all things through christ that strengthens me how paul received such a strength to shake hell to put to flight the demonic forces of hell the forces in hell are so fearful of paul i am crucified to the cross and the world to me i am crucified to the world and the world is crucified to me it is no longer i that live but christ lives in me what a wonderful life paul is crucified to the world it is no longer me that lives but christ lives in me i am imitating jesus christ as i imitate jesus christ you too can imitate me to the churches paul is writing can the present day preachers say this can the present day preachers say this this temple that temple this cause that cause this ministry that ministry satan has already taken hold of all this cause all this temples all this ministries why the first love is absent so many dying so many jobless so many helpless people so many widows so many orphans so many people not knowing jesus christ not knowing the love of jesus christ so many people hating the cross so many people away from jesus christ what for these temples what for these cause what for these ministries what for these missionaries very very bad what does this show this show that we are indeed in the last times this show that we are indeed in perilous times this shows that the end is near yesu raju ga vachu chunnadu bhulokamanta telusukuntaru yesu raju ga vachu chunnadu bhulokamanta telusukuntaru రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు యేసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు మేఘాల మీద యేసు వచ్చుచున్నాడు మేఘల మీద యేసు వచ్చుచున్నాడు పరిశుద్ధులందరినీ తీసుకుపోతాడు పరిశుద్ధులందరినీ తీసుకుపోతాడు లోకమంతా శ్రమ కాలం విడువబడుట బహుఘోరం లోకమంతా శ్రమ కాలం విడువబడుట బహుఘోరం యేసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు ఏడెండ్లు పరిశుద్ధులకు విందవబోతుంది ఏడెండ్లు పరిశుద్ధులకు విందవబోతుంది ఏడెండ్లు లోకం మీదికి శ్రమ రాబోతుంది ఏడెండ్లు లోకం మీదికి శ్రమ రాబోతుంది ఈ సువార్త మోయబడు వాక్యమే కరువగును ఈ సువార్త మోయబడు వాక్యమే కరువగును యేసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు యేసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు వెయ్యండ్లు ఇలపై యేసు రాజ్యమేలోను వెయ్యండ్లు ఇలపై యేసు రాజ్యమేలోను ఈ లోక రాజ్యాలన్నీ ఆయన ఏలును ఈ లోక రాజ్యాలన్నీ ఆయన ఏలును నీతి శాంతి వర్ధిలును న్యాయమే కనబడును 
నీతి శాంతి వర్ధిలును న్యాయమే కనబడును ఎస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భోలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు ఈ లోక దేవతలన్నీ ఆయన ముందర ఈలోక దేవతలన్నీ ఆయన ముందర సాగిన పడి నమస్కరించి గడగడలాడును వంగనే మోకాళ్ళన్నీ ఎస్ఐ ఎదుట వంగిపోవును ఎస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భోలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు ఎస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భోలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు క్రైస్తవుడ మరవా వద్దు ఆయన రాకడా క్రైస్తవుడ మరవా వద్దు ఆయన రాకడా కనిపెట్టి ప్రార్థన చేయి ముసిద్ధముగా నుండి కనిపెట్టి ప్రార్థన చేయి ముసిద్ధముగా నుండి రేప పాటు నమారాలి సయ చింతకు చేరాలి రేప పాటు నమారాలి సయ చింతకు చేరాలి ఎస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భోలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు ఎస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భోలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు దండ్ ఈస్ ఎట్ హ్యాండ్ వెరీ లిటిల్ టైమ్ ఇది ఏ సమయం బోరండి రక్షణ పొందండి ఇక సమయము లేదండి రండి రక్షణ పొందండి వీ ఆర్ రీడింగ్ ద లాస్ట్ క్రానికల్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్లానెట్ అర్త్ సో వీ నీడ్ టు బీ కాషియస్ వాచింగ్ అవర్ కేర్ఫుల్లీ మానిటరింగ్ కేర్ఫుల్లీ ద హ్యాపనింగ్స్ ఇన్ జెరూషాలేం వెన్ ద టెంపుల్ విల్ బీ బిల్డ్ వెన్ సడన్లీ ద జూయిష్ టెంపుల్ విల్ అపియర్ ఇన్ జెరూషాలేం ద హోల్ వరల్డ్ విల్ బీ ఇన్ షాక్ the whole world will be astonished surprised oh we have not expected oh we thought that it will take another 100 years the end is at hand we are reading the last chronicles of planet earth what is the proof what is the assurance matthew chapter 25 mark chapter 13 so clearly says the days of the return of lord jesus christ as the judge will be like the days of noah like the days of loth are we not in the days of noah are we not in the days of loth is there not corruption all around us everywhere we see corruption everywhere we see lies everywhere we see absence of love everywhere we see violence everywhere we see lack of resources hunger thirst poverty suffering isn't it these are characteristic of the days of noah these are characteristic of the days of loth and during such times the son of god will return as the king of kings lord of lords as the judge we need to prepare noah was preaching 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 god is going to send 40 days 40 nights continuous downpour there will be severe flooding nobody knows what rain is nobody has ever seen what rain could be how rain will be during the days of noah nobody knows what ship is god has told noah make for a ship ship for yourself it should be three floored all the animals of its kind will come to you and you should provide them accommodation 
all the birds of the sky will come in pairs each of one pair of each type you should provide them accommodation you should make rooms in the ship and you should prepare surplus food you should prepare food of all kinds various kinds not only for you for your family but also for the birds and animals what all god has said noah was faithfully listening believing and doing now the gospel is being preached 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 who is listening who has ears he that has ears let him hear we think that everybody has ears all human beings has ears who has no ears sir there are dumb and deaf people as well not literally dumb and deaf even though they have hearing ability they will just hear but nothing will be left in their heart go to sunday church listen the sunday sermon written with empty mind written with empty heart what is today's gospel what is today's message oh the preacher has spoken loud and clear the pulpit echoed with the sermon the preacher is so fluent you know the preacher is so eloquent you know sir what is the message how did the message correct you how did the message revive you how did the message shaped you into the likeness of jesus christ how did the message hammered upon your head that you are a sinner that you have to convert to the pattern of jesus christ what is that the preacher has spoken that has struck your heart that has brought you to repentance that has shown you your iniquities that has shown you your sins oh i have forgotten you know this is the sad state of affairs in the churches even before the preacher goes to the pulpit satan is already active the agents of satan is already actively present the demonic forces the head of the demonic forces in the hell the senior devil deputes so many junior devils the invisible junior devils will be right sitting next to each of the so called pseudo believers to make sure that nothing will remain in their heart the preacher will be preaching 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 loud and clear but nothing will be going into the heart and mind of the preacher nothing will be reforming them nothing will be turning them from bad to good the mission of the true church is to take really bad people and mold them shape them into really good people if the church were to succeed in its mission why do we see so many bad christians not want to not willing to share what they have with the poorest of the poor if all the church were to be successful in taking up all bad people and turning them to good people the preacher is so sure that in india there will not be a single homeless person a single jobless person how many christians are there in high positions how many christian believers are there how many rich pastors are there how many rich bishops are there how many rich fathers are there with so much power with so much autonomy with so many resources with so many vehicles with so many institutes with so many bank balances with so many foreign funds but what are these so 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 called elite people are doing vari kadipe vari kailasam their stomach is their god in the last is perilous times will come they love pleasure more than god my pleasure my life my happiness my comfort my children my family my wife my church that is the reason for so much poverty so much hunger so much joblessness so much so many people going to bed without food without drink if the church were to really succeed in in the in the in the mission interested to the church to take up very very bad people and hammer upon their head and mold them to good people the large world religious democracy will not be at its lowest point church has greater role to play because only 12 hours isn't it only 12 hours day time if you work during the day you will not stumble oh 
I will burn my candle at the 11th hour. Foolish virgins. The churches are like foolish virgins today. Will I find at least one faithful person upon my return as the judge? Jesus Christ is surprised, astonished. Jesus Christ was thinking, Will I find at least one wise virgin, at least one church waiting for me? One Rode that is able to hear the voice of Peter. Rode was shouting when the church was praying for the release of Peter. Rode, the little girl, is shouting, Peter is released, Peter is released, Peter is released from the prison. The pseudo churches with so many false acquisitions are imprisoning the saints of God. Today's churches have been persecutors. This is the sad state of affairs prevailing in the world. Satan has already taken control. Control, 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 control was taken over by Satan. The church remote is in the hand of the control, Satan. Satan is controlling the activities of the church. That is uh, the very reason why bad people are becoming worst people, not getting good people, not be becoming better people. The church has failed in its mission. I will take away the lampstand. I will spit on your face. I will take away the lampstand. No wonder, no surprise. This is only a taste. This is only a poor taste. Churches being closed for 12 months, churches being closed off and on on Sundays. It's only a foretaste of what is going to happen in future. Permanently the churches are going to be closed. There will not be any church on the planet earth. The true church, the bride of Christ will be taken up into the clouds to be with Christ for a thousand, for seven years. To be with Christ forever, seven years of peace to the church to the saints, to the true people of God. And seven years of great tribulation, the moment Israel signs a peace treaty with the neighboring nation, the dawn starts, severe tribulation, sorrows to man, oh, 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 unto the inhabitants, oh, unto the inhabitants, oh, unto the inhabitants, not palatable. The preacher is not at all having any enmity with the perverted nation, perverted people, wicked people, bent on destroying their neighbors. The people has, the preacher has nothing against any evil people. It is the duty of the security person to warn. What is the use of having a dog that will not bark when a thief comes? Dog has to do the work of a dog. The dog has to bark. That is what the preacher is doing. My preachers are mute dogs. They cannot bark. They cannot shout and alert my people with the impending danger. The dog has to bark. If the dog do not bark, what is the use of having a dog in the house? For protection, isn't it? The preacher has to do the work of the preacher. Alert the impending dangers, alert the impending harm and prepare the church to be taken up into the clouds as are the teachers, so are the people, as are the preachers, so are the members of the church. The preacher is also sleeping, the member of the church is also sleeping and the church and the Satan is active in deputing junior devil, mainly focusing on the preacher. Make sure that there will never again be a preacher like Paul. Make sure that there will never again there will be any preacher of the pattern of Paul. This pestilent Paul has caused much damage to our infrastructure in hell. This pestilent Paul has converted whole of the Europe to the enemy. This pestilent Paul has preached all through Jerusalem and converted the Jews even to, towards the enemy. My dear Wormwood, how did you let the soup slip from your hand? Did I not depute you in the church to take care of that particular patient? to take care of that particular patient that nothing goes into his head. When the preacher is hammering upon the head of the patient that the patient should sleep, the patient should never pay attention to what is being taught in the church. This is the purpose with which I have deputed. You my dear one word, how could you let the patient slip from your hand? 
The patient's blood and flesh is your soup. How could you let the soup slip from your fingers? Our father below is so much annoyed that you have let the soup slip from your fingers. This is the conversation in the hell. This is the diplomacy in the hell. I do not know how this conversation has fallen in my hands. Professor C.S. Lewis is writing uh, the things real, the things that are happening in the mysterious world called hell. So be on your own guard, the focus of Satan with so much radars, with so many nano cameras, with so many nano phones, microphones, this phones, that phones is on church. With a remote control in its hand, Satan is controlling the church. Okay, it is not our botheration. You can increase the intensity of the fire for 7 times or even 70 times if you can. We have no obligations. We are not fearful. This should be the standing of the church. Oh, the government has not given permission to open the church. What a shame. The government has put Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego in fire. What is the consequence? The fire could not burn Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego and uh, the pseudo king says, El Elohim Israel, El Elohim Israel, El Elohim Israel. This should be the work of the church. The government should fear the church, the true church. Oh, the government has uh, not given permission to open the church on Sunday. This is only for test. The church is completely going to be closed. There will not be a single church on the planet earth. A beastly government is going to control the whole of the earth. A single currency government, a single economy government, a single government rule is going to come. Beastly government is going to rule. There will be no more church. The true church will be caught up in heaven, caught up into the clouds and taken up into heaven to be with the Lord forever. Are you prepared? Are you prepared for the joyous occasion? Isuvartha moya badun vakya me karu aguna Isu rajuga vachu chunnadu Bholo kamanta telusu kuntaru Yesu Rajga Vachu Chunnadu Bho Loka Mantha Telusu Kuntaru Ravi Koti Tejudu Ramya Maina Devudu Ravi Koti Tejudu Ramya Maina Devudu Ra Rajga Vachu Chunnadu Ra Rajga Vachu Chunnadu Edendlu Ila Payesu Edendlu Parishuddhalaku vinda bhotondi Edendlu lokam medhi kisramara bhotondi Isu vartha moya vadun vakya me karu agunu A preacher deciphers the code Bible like this. The abbreviation is deciphered. B I B L E Basic instruction before leaving earth. Each one of us has to leave this planet Earth to our home above. To land safely, we should have the user manual called Bible. Only when we are equipped with the user manual Bible, we can safely land in the heaven. Sokshmala Moksha salvation made simple. The whole of the Bible can be explained in just two words. What are the two words that explains the Bible? Jesus Christ. If you know these two words, you know all the Bible and you land up safely in heaven. Make sure. There is no trace of doubt in this. I am the first, I am the last, I am the beginning, I am the end. One of the greatest evangelists of our time, Billy Graham says, I do not fear anything because I have read the last page of the Bible. I know what is in store for me. Have you read the last page of the Bible? Have you read the first page of the Bible? Do you know all of the 66 books of the Bible? Oh, I do not know. No regrets. If you know Jesus Christ, these two words that is sufficient, you know all of the Bible. I have read the last page of the Bible and I am sure what is reserved in reserve for me and I will not fear any circumstances in this world. One of the greatest evangelists of our times, probably there has been no other preacher as renowned as uh, Billy Graham in the recent past that has delivered Great number of sermons. His life itself is a sermon, Billy Graham. So many sermons, so many sermons, so many sermons. 
rarest of the rare billy graham says i have read the last page of the bible and i fear none i fear nothing i know what is in store for me do you have such assurance of you are after life i have read the last page of the bible and i fear nothing i fear none my life is secured with christ have you read the last page of the bible have you read the first page of the bible have you read the 66 books of the bible no regret if you do not have time to read all the 66 books no regret if you accept jesus as christ jesus as your king jesus as your savior for the forgiveness of your sins for you to be clothed by the righteousness of jesus christ to be viewed by god as the righteousness of god you will be qualified to enter into heaven and to be and will be saved from hell this is the gospel sokshmalla moksha salvation made simple tell us ramayana in three words katte kutte teche finished who has time to read ramayana who has time to read mahabharata who has time to read geeta where are such capsule teachings tell us ramayana in three words katte kutte teche finished three words ramayana katte kutte teche bible two words finished jesus christ the sum and substance of the word of god is truth and the truth is jesus christ can anybody deny this the sum and substance of the word of god is truth and who is truth jesus christ all of the 66 books all of the thousands of verses in the 66 books all of the hundreds of the chapters in the 66 books tell one thing tell about one person called jesus christ to be saved from hell to be born again to become like child blameless sinless pure in heart and to inherit eternal life to dwell with god in his holy tabernacle in heaven forever sukshma la moksha salvation made simple all the 66 books of the bible will be distilled to two words that is jesus christ if you know jesus christ you are saved there is no exaggeration may all the audience be granted the faith in jesus christ for their forgiveness of sins and eternal life in the name of my lord and savior jesus christ i pray amen